from hauntedflower.com and hauntedflowerreviews.com and today I'm going to be reviewing The Five Year Engagement starring Jason Siegel, also kind of written by him, and Emily Blunt. Stories about this couple that meets on New Year's Eve one year and then he proposes to her and lots of things get in the way. Her sister gets in the way. A bunch of dead relatives kind of get in the way, but mostly her job offer to the University of Michigan gets in the way. Since she's into psychology and he's a chef, when she can't find the ideal position in San Francisco, she wants to move to Michigan, and he thinks naturally he'd be able to find a job as a chef in Michigan. He must not have been to Michigan before. While U of M looks prestigious, Michigan gets a lot of jokes. Hunting jokes, male knitting jokes, snow jokes, um, Basically, Michigan gets a lot of flack. I grew up in Michigan, so I understand all of the jokes. The movie itself is pretty funny. I laughed a lot over the course of the movie, but it does get really ridiculous when Jason Siegel's character basically goes native in Michigan. Uh, that's like the one part of the movie where I'm like, this is so far a departure from anything realistic. Wow. But um, I also, me and my husband argued about how realistic these characters' choices were, but, you know, it's a movie, so I guess at some point you have to be like, it's a movie, people are gonna be stupid in a movie because it's a movie. That being said, this is a cute romantic comedy. I did enjoy it a lot. I think you might enjoy it a lot too. It's not perfect, very few of them are, uh, but I would, if I gave out ratings, I would probably give it a B, something like that. So um, take that for what you will and decide whether or not you want to go see the five-year engagement. I really liked the characters of the sister and the dude's best friend, um, and they create a lot of comedy themselves every time they are on screen. And for me, the funniest scene of the movie is when Emily Blunt and her sister are trying to have a serious conversation about everything that's happened in the movie, but... Uh, a young girl insists that they do it in the voices of Elmo and Cookie Monster, which is at the same time hilarious and endearing, and I nearly had tears in my eyes from how funny it was. So thank you for watching my review, and I hope you'll join me again next time for another review. Bye-bye! If you like this review, go to my site at hauntedflowerreviews.com. I also have a podcast on iTunes. Please leave me ratings and comments. Also, we have a store, hauntedflower.com, where you can find the best online apparel and accessories from movies, TV shows, anime, and more. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hauntedflower, and that's where we have all of our contests, too, so you can win free stuff. Go to indiemojo.com if you live in Indianapolis, and you can find out how to go to free movies.